we've definitely had to adapt and change how we communicate, um, you know, keeping in touch with our clients, kind of building that person to person contact without actually being present um, with each other. Um, so whether that's through text, emails, market updates, social media, um, I think that's something that we've kind of focused on and just have really uh, wanted to be there for our clients to offer any support that we um, can giving them all the information that we have about what's going on um, and and really just kind of creating that um, that relationship or, or solidifying that relationship that we have. It was hustling at first to get virtual tours, 3D tours, um, you know, lifestyle videos, floor plans, just everything um, within that first week, uh, right around the week actually that we, we had the stay at home order in place. Um, and now it's been more so about, okay, we have those listings up still. What is our best bet now? Are we taking them off the market? Are we, um, you know, staying and holding true and, and being active on the market? So it's like, like every day is completely different. So being productive with clients really is strategizing every day based on what's going on. I think we're going to see a lot of inventory hit the market. There have been a lot of homeowners who uh, wanted to list in that March, April timeframe are now getting pushed back to May, June. Um, already there's a lot of homeowners that plan to list in May, June timeframe anyway, because that's typically our busiest um, time of the year. So uh, we'll see the double up of inventory hit the market, um, which will be good though for buyers because buyers have been working with historically low inventory numbers, multiple offer scenarios, um, escalations, all that. So with the increase in inventory, they have more properties to choose from. Um, and again, the terms will be a little bit more relaxed for them. I'm actually purging quite a bit from our house, um, clothes, shoes, utensils we don't use, you know, just, just everything. So I'm looking forward to donating um, those things once um, the stay at home order is uh, lifted. Um, but that's, that's one of the things I've been doing during my free time is just kind of purging and cleaning. When this first came out, you know, it was very easy to get sucked into all the negative uncertainties um, that were out there. Um, but now that we are seeing the communities coming together, people supporting each other, um, I think that there's actually been a lot more positivity that have come out of this um, that wouldn't have otherwise um, came to be um, if we have we wouldn't be in this, this situation with the virus and the stay at home order. So um, I think that that's what's been keeping me going and staying positive.